Damn, these crates are difficult to get. Hello guys, how you doing? Back again with another crate opening here for you. Now this one's taken me a while to find, uh, but I managed to get a H1Z1 wearables crate from just playing the main game, killing zombies, looting. I'm not sure when it actually happened. Uh, I probably wasn't paying attention, but it definitely was just through playing the sort of the main game, killing zombies, crafting items, using furnaces and chests, that kind of thing. Uh, just interacting, that's what gives you the chances of, uh, of finding these. So let's go ahead and open up the crate. I've already purchased the key, so we can just go straight into it. Let's open the crate. As it's a wearables crate, we're going to have the chance in this time to win the rare item, the animal hide backpack, uh, the Patriot motorcycle helmet, the Zim's racing helmet, the fire department t-shirt, blue sports pants, brown cowboy hat, the leather satchel, the blue Aloha Polo, the red Aloha Polo, the Dirty Deeds t-shirt, the Royal Line Polo, the green and white racing helmet, and the grey and yellow backpack skin. Uh, obviously, everyone always wants the rare item, uh, but let's see what we get. Let's go unlock now. Come on! That's a lot of rares just went past there. Okay, so we got the red Aloha Polo. Not the best. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, seeing as it's in a sort of skin library now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. With the new model. It's very nice. So there we have it. Another H1Z1 wearables crate opened. Uh, this time round, we missed out on all the rares that went past, but we got the red Aloha Polo, which is quite nice. I think I might wear this a couple of times. Uh, in future, so it's not the worst skin we could have got out of that, uh, but there's always better. So I just want to say thank you for watching guys, uh, if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, uh, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. See you later.